been there since yesterday during the, some of these storms. Davis says he knew the parish's plan to keep the barges nearby would work because during Katrina, several barges were relocated to the same area in Lakeshore Estates and none of them breached the area or broke off. Among the charitable agencies that have been providing help to those affected by the oil spill is the St. Bernard Community Center. Since they opened three years ago after Hurricane Katrina, center leaders say they have provided aid and advice to over 12,000 people. But the need rose sharply when the oil spill started, and now they're outgrowing their current headquarters. So they asked action reporter Bill Capo to spread the word about the need for a new center. Mondays are busy days at the St. Bernard Community Center in Araby. In all, about 1,000 families a month come here for a range of services, from clothing to counseling, hot meals to laundry services, and a popular food pantry that helps those living on tight budgets like Urban Carr. It might seem like a small item, but it is very helpful to people that on a fixed income. But since the oil spill, the St. Bernard Community Center has been busier than ever, with requests for help up 20 to 60 percent. More people need this place than can fit inside it. Everybody doesn't have a place to sit when we do the hot meal. There's, there's certainly, it becomes standing room only for lunch. And we're just, we've overwhelmed our physical infrastructure. I came to work on the computer look for a job. That's one of the uh, benefits here. Kathy Williams just moved to Araby from Colorado, and the center has become a resource as she looks for a job. They have a lot of, like, volunteer positions, but as far as actually a job where you get paid, it's just nil. It, so financially it, being able to come here is a huge help. Yeah. Executive Director Irene Navitoff has found this potential site for a new center more than four times larger than the original, which would allow him to expand services, offering job training, Head Start, and other programs, if he can find the funds to move in here. This should be a $5 million turnkey project, but because we're so grassroots, it's the way we know how to operate best. $500,000 will get our foot in the door in the campus. A client told me the St. Bernard Community Center helped rebuild lives, rebuild families, helped rebuild homes, and brought hope and smiles back to people in St. Bernard. But the center's director knows they're going to have to move at some point. They can't stay in their current location, and if they don't find a new one, he says, the future looks bleak. As, as it goes now, especially because we have so outgrown the space that we operate in, you know, if we don't make this move, I can't guarantee there'll be a center here a year from now. I'll let you know what happens. I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News, Action Reporter. You can reach the St. Bernard Community Center by calling 281-2512 or visit our website at wwltv.com and click on links on four. Well, we're finding